fellow artists and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. In today's Procreate tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make grayscale images in Procreate. We're going to convert color images to black and white. Make sure you watch until the end of the video to get a bonus Procreate tip for how to get a splash of color onto a certain part of your grayscale image. For our example today, we're going to be using a picture of this girl. In case you'd like to know, I imported this image through Actions up here, then Add, then I clicked on Insert a Photo here. I have a tutorial to show you how to import photos in Procreate. You can check out that tutorial by clicking on the link above or in the description below. Now let's continue on with the tutorial on how to change this color image into grayscale. So first we click on layers up here and then duplicate the image. Next we'll add a new layer. Then you'll need to go to the color wheel and choose white. And we're going to drag white onto that layer. Then we need to go back to layers and we're going to drag the white layer between the two colored images. Next, we'll go to the top colored image and click on N here on the right, which will present us with a list. We need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we need to choose luminosity. Then to get the complete grayscale image, you just need to pinch the three layers into one. Next, I'm going to show you the bonus content for placing a pot of color only on a specific part of an image. I want to mention that Procreate doesn't yet have a feature that allows you to change a grayscale image back to its original color. However, there are some techniques that we can do to get around that problem. To do this, you're going to need two layers. The first is the black and white or grayscale image that we've just done, which will sit as our top layer. And you'll also need the original colored image at the bottom. Before we start, make sure you have the grayscale image selected. For this example, I've decided that I want color on the background. The first way we can do this is through selections up here. A menu will pop up at the bottom. Make sure Automatic and Add are selected. Then you can just take your finger or your pen and slowly slide to the right. I'm going slow here to avoid selecting parts of the girl. Since I want the background to have color, I'm going to place my pen on that part of the image. When finished with the selection, tap on the transform tool up here. Then I'm going to use three fingers to swipe down on the canvas. And then I'm going to tap on cut. So basically, I've just deleted the gray part on that part of the background. You can check out one of my tutorials that shows you how to delete a background in Procreate, which I'll leave a link up above and also in the description below. A second way to get color is by using the Erase tool, which I'll show you by using it on the remainder of the background. Both the selection and the Erase tool will give you the same results. Don't forget to check out the Procreate tutorials in the description below to show you other useful methods in deleting parts of an image. And now you know how to make grayscale images in Procreate. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to be notified of future Procreate tutorials, you can subscribe to Mad Chen and turn on notifications. If you have any questions, comments, or problems with Procreate, please leave comments down below because I want to be supportive and help you guys get better at using Procreate and also get better at your artwork. You can also check out my other Procreate tutorials, which I will leave links up above and also in the description below. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next Procreate tutorial.